Hi everyone, Kendall here and welcome to what I am classing as the last video in the Simply Jelly Roll Sampler Sew Along series, <laughs> say that five times real fast, as week nine will just be about the border and final cook construction and as it's just simple two and a half inch squares, I didn't think we needed to go into that. So without much further ado, if you haven't done so already, jump over to Pat's website, download this week's free pattern. All the information is also in the description box below. Come back here and I'll show you how to do it. Once again, we have all of our pieces cut as per our little sheet that we download for this week, which tells us which page in the book the block is coming from and how many pieces we need because we are just making the one block. So we're going to start by taking our A rectangles and our E squares and I'm going to split the A rectangles into two lots of four. We need to put a sew and flip in different directions on these so by having one lot of four horizontally on the table that's the longest part towards your tummy and the other lot of four vertically on the table in front of you the shortest part towards your tummy and we can put our and flip on that right hand side as you see me doing now and just on the top of the strip that is vertical and we will automatically get the opposing angles that we need for our sewn flips. <clears throat> I'm once again just using my folded corner clipper tool which you've seen me use a million times before. So I'm going to go and get all of these ready. We'll then take them to the machine and stitch our quarter of an inch and our folding, our folding folded corners or the sewn flips will be all done. With all eight of those now sewn, we'll just take those to the pressing mat and press out towards that corner before moving on to the next step. With those units complete, we now just need to lay this out as per the pattern and as you can see me doing here, bringing in our remaining E squares for the corner here and grabbing up our C squares for that other corner that we've got at the top left hand side there. This then just goes together as an uneven four patch, sewing first our vertical seams and then our horizontal seams, not schemes, <laughs> although maybe I am scheming, who can say. Once we've got these first vertical seams done, we'll press towards that solid background square to allow for it to nest when we do our horizontal seam. that horizontal seam now sewn on all four of these we will press towards the smaller of the two units so away from that large square that will give us nesting seams for when we come to put the final block together now going to take our B squares and our D rectangles and simply sew those together with our quarter inch seam and then we'll press towards the darker of the two fabrics. We now have all of the pieces and parts we need to make the final block and as you can see me doing here I've stacked up two on each side left and right there of our corner units that we made at the first step. 
I'm putting two pieces of the sashing that we just created in between there and that is going to be our top and bottom row and for our middle row we have a piece of sashing on either side and our last remaining E square in the middle as you can see me doing there. We just need to sew all of our vertical seams and then our horizontal seams and in all instances we're going to press for those top and bottom rows towards that sashing piece. In the middle row we'll press in uh, out away from that center E square and then when we come to do our horizontal seams every single intersection will nest. Once we've done our horizontal seams we're going to press in towards that center sashing that has the two rectangles and the three squares. As I said before, for the top and bottom row, we'll press in towards that sashing piece and on the center, we press out away from that center E square. And as you can see here, this does allow for all of our intersections to nest when we come to do these two horizontal seams. Once these two horizontal seams are done, once again, as I said before, we'll press in towards this center sashing row. After giving this one good final press, we now have this week's block done and we are able to assemble all of the fourth row ready for our borders, which is next week, but I'm not doing a video. Alrighty, thanks for joining me for another week of the Simply Jelly Roll Sew Along. I hope you've enjoyed the video today and if you have, show your appreciation by liking the video, sharing it with a friend, subscribing if you haven't already done so, tickling that little bell icon to be notified of all my future releases. I appreciate every single one of you for being here. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.